You know when you're drowning, you don't actually inhale until right before you black out. It's called voluntary apnea. It's like no matter how much you're freaking out, the instinct to not let any water in is so strong that you won't open your mouth until you feel like your head's exploding. And when you finally do let it in, that's when it stops hurting. It's not scary anymore. It's, it's actually kind of peaceful. I'm fine. Yeah, aside from the not sleeping, the jumpiness, the constant, overwhelming, crushing fear that something terrible is about to happen. It's called hypervigilance. The persistent feeling of being under threat. I mean, it's not just a feeling, though. It's, it's like it's a panic attack. You know, like I can't even breathe. Like you're drowning. If you're drowning, and you're trying to keep your mouth closed until that very last moment, what if you choose to not open your mouth? To not let the water in? You have more time, right? But more time to fight your way to the surface. More time to be rescued. More time to be in agonizing pain. I mean, did you forget about the part where you feel like your head's exploding? If it's about survival, isn't a little agony worth it? I mean, what if it just gets worse? What if it's agony now and then it's just hell later on? Then think about something Winston Churchill once said. If you're going through hell, 